Welcome to Juniper Educational Services Learning Bytes. This Learning Byte will be on the Junos Web App Secure Appliance, formerly known as Mykonos. This will be an Interfaces Overview. Section Objectives. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you'll be able to launch and navigate the web user interface for the Junos Web App Secure Appliance. We're now going to connect to the main interface. We use the IP address that we set up on the Junos Web App Secure appliance through the text setup utility, which can either be DHCP or it can be a static IP address using port 5000 and HTTPS. This gives us two options now. One is Security Monitor, this also known as the Dashboard. Now this interface provides an in-depth graphical and statistical information about the device or the server you're protecting. Um, it monitors on port 8080 for this interface. The other one is Configuration. Configuration allows you to configure the Genos Web App Secure server through a separate interface in this version um, to set up for what you're going to protect and please note that it is currently branded Mykonos in Q2 of 2013 around there we're going to have our rebranding for the next version which will be known as the Junos Web App Secure and they're going to combine these two interfaces into one interface. We're now going to log into configuration. This uses the same login that you've set up on the Junos Web App Secure appliance. This takes us to our main interface for configuration. In our main configuration interface, we have six options. We have the configuration tab. Configuration tab allows us to do all of our configuration of the Junos Web App Secure appliance. We have basic mode, which allows us to set up our global configuration settings, services, processors, and applications that we're going to protect. Um, configuration wizard, which allow us when we have a defaulted Junos Web App Secure device to configure it. Once we've configured it one time, it will then be disabled. Expert mode is not recommended. Um, this was a lower level of access to different parts of the configuration. This is being merged in the next version with basic mode in order to reduce complexity. We can also import or export out configurations. In this current version, when you export out the configuration, it includes everything with the exception of auto responses. The next configuration area is to manage system auto responses. Now, an auto response is a set of rules we have canned as well as user defined. Now, these are rules in which a counter response should be automatically created or activated based on the specific session or profile. Let's take a look at uh, one of the default responses here for session management here at the very top. Uh, when a session cookie spoofing attack is detected, the first action is going to be log out the user. So we can take actions against the user themselves while we're still trying to collect information as well. When Juno's Web App Secure believes a response is required, the type of response issue depends on the type of behavior the malicious user exhibited to receive the response. For example, users that JWS thinks are automated tools will likely get issued a capture response. Whereas it is obvious that a real malicious user, not a bot, will be able to resolve a CAPTCHA. In the second case, a 2-6 to six second slow might be more effective at wasting the hacker's time. Another factor that comes into play when issuing counter-response is risk level. 
If Junos Web App Secure believes a user is of no immediate risk to the system, it might only activate those responses which still allow the user to browse the site somehow, such as a warning response or a slow connection response. This way JWS can monitor that user and gather additional information to properly assess the risk level. If JWS believes the user is a danger to the system, it will issue a more severe response such as stripping out all inputs on every request or outright blocking the profile. Some responses might not get issued right away. For example, an incident may produce a permanent block in 20 minutes. The reason for this delay in the counter response is JWS uses this buffer time to gather some last minute information on the profile before issuing the final response. JWS will respond instantly if it perceives an immediate threat to the integrity of the system, but instances where this is not the case, this allows JWS to profile the attacker for a bit longer. The end result will be a more complete look at the hacker and his or her habits. Let's next take a look at system reporting functionality. The system has a built-in reporting interface. Administrators can run one of many predefined reports such as incidents list and or they can schedule a report or access report history. Most reports can be exported to both PDF and CSV format. Reports that are composed of several separate visual elements, like the scorecard, are only available in PDF format. System status will allow us to get the status over a period of time, the last hour or the last month. Licensing allows us to add an additional feature licenses. Updates allows us to do manual updates. To get quickly to the security monitoring, we can click on the icon in the upper left hand corner. This brings us back to the main menu where we can then click on security monitor. This will then open up what we call the dashboard. For security monitoring we have what's called the dashboard here. The dashboard gives us graphical and statistical information like the detected attacks over a period of time, also the hackers that have tried to access our system, and also any deployed counter responses. We have the ability to drill down on information by clicking on any active links, like for example, I'm getting the information about the profile called Amy47. She's considered a low threat and a list of her activities here. We can also take a look at the incidences, the sessions, where it was located, the environment, the responses, and a description. We can further take a look at when attacks happen on a particular given day. So in this day here, we had two attacks. And once again, they came from these two users, Amy47 and Harriet7387, is what their profiles are known as. Besides getting graphical information, we also have the ability to use the shortcuts down here below to go to Configuration, Manager, Auto Response Editor, or to go to System Reporting. This concludes the Learning Byte on the Juno's Web App Secure Interfaces Overview. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learningbytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.